Oh, it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's gorgeous. Hey y'all, so today I am going to be experimenting with another super fun makeup look. And I'm going to be showing y'all some of my favorite products. Basically, I'm just going to do my makeup. We're going to sit. We're going to talk. We're going to have a good time. So, let's get started, shall we? So, I already have moisturizer and eye cream and lip balm on my face. You can hear my, my little weenie dog barking in the background. Her name is Lulu. She's super cute. But, anyway... So, so then after that, I'm going to continue on to primer. And I'm going to be using two primers today, actually. I'm going to be using this Tarte, um, the Shape Tape Porn Prime Balm. It looks like this. And then I'm going to be taking the Dermablend Professional Insta Jelly Grip Primer. And one is just because I have craters on my face to cover those up. And the other one is to make the makeup last the rest of the day. So let's get to blending. So how I like to do this is I take my finger. I just wash my hands, obviously, after my pickles. And I like to dab it into the skin wherever my... So called craters will be. So I get really big pores um, in this area on both sides of my face, my chin, and my nose. Making sure to prime there. And then I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I prime under my eyes, especially with the pore filling prim primer because of the creasing and I have like one specific like little wrinkle under my eyes so anyway and then I'm gonna take the Derma Blend primer open her up it's this super sticky like gel and I'm just gonna blot it into the skin Just to give it that good base, you know. How can you expect to have like amazing foundation if you don't have a base? So then, I'm going to take this foundation today. It's the Tarte Amazon Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I like this foundation. It's good. I like it a lot. And so, I've used this. I've bought this multiple times, used it many times over the years. And so I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take a flat foundation brush. I'm just going to dab it. And then I'm just going to look in a mirror because my mirror is behind my camera. And dab it into the skin. Well, that's not blended very well. Let's blend that a little better. Need a little bit more foundation. You can never ever blend too much. Blending is like key. Because you can always add more. You can't 
taken away very easy. So making and then making sure that this is blended all the way down the neck because you don't want it that sharp like line of foundation because that is not cute especially when your foundation and your neck are two different colors making sure it's blended and then I also have to really make sure that the places that I get really red have like a double coat so like I get really red like right on my cheeks my chin and my nose so just making sure I put a second coat and blend that out hmm. okay And then I'm going to take my concealer, the two that I, the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer is like one of my absolute favorite concealers right now. I also really like the Tarte, I'm not going to even try and say that, um, Creaseless Concealer. It's this one. And then the other one from L'Oreal, this is the one I'm going to use today. I used it in my video before, but I used it, I made it more medium coverage. And today we're going to like, we're going to leave her full coverage because I used a full coverage foundation. So we're going to leave her as a full coverage. And then so taking the concealer and putting it under the eyes. Bridge of the nose, middle of the forehead, the chin, Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take this stippling brush, I think this is called, yeah, the small stipple brush from e.l.f. and just blend in my concealer. my Aerospawn Loose Face Powder. It's just one of, it's just a really good drugstore powder. I like it a lot. I'm taking that and then my um, sponge. I think this is a Real Technique sponge. I'm not sure. Getting some powder and pressing it into the area. Blending it, I put it down the side of my nose and where I have my smile lines because I am speaking all the time, I laugh all the time, so just doing something like this in my chin. So I'm going to really set it with my sponge wherever I'm going to get like really shiny. Bridge of the nose where I put my concealer. And then I have this wrinkle right here that makes me mad. So I'm just going to set the foundation there to help it not wrinkle. Okay. While that is baking away, I am going to do my brows and... Um, my brows and my eyes. So I'm going to start with my brows and I'm actually going to be using, where is it? My Prof Profusion Define Brows, Professional Brow Kit. Um, 
it's a really good kit. It has all these different colors for different hair and different, it's just a really, really good kit. It just works really, really well. And so what I'm going to actually do first is take my Essence Make Me Brow. And I'm going to brush my brows into place with this, making sure that they look somewhat even. I'm just brushing them into place. I'm going to get them done this week and I'm so excited. Also getting my lashes done for the first time which I'm super super excited about. And then I'm going to take the little brush that it comes with, the little kit, and I'm going to take their chocolate brown shade. And I'm, How I do my brows is probably not how everybody else does them, but that's how I do them. So I'm going to line First, where the shape I want. On the top and the bottom. And then do the tail. And then I just fill in wherever else needs some, some brow love. Oh. oh, that's too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Then we're going to do the other one and make sure they look somewhat even. My brows are done. Time to move on to the eyes. Okay guys, so this is the eye look that I came up with today. And so I am going to show you how to recreate it. So first I'm going to be taking my Kylie palette. This is the burgundy palette. And I'm going to take the shade Brick over here and I'm going to create like a wing. And so the first thing I'm going to do is wet um, my angle brush. A little bit of water over here. I don't want it super soaking wet but I want it like pretty wet. I'm going to dip it in this shade. And while you're looking into a mirror, you want to create a line. With the eyeshadow. And you want it to look somewhat similar to this line. And then you're going to take your, and you're just going to go in. creating that wink and filling it in with the shadow. There we go. And then I'm actually going to take a little bit of foundation and just clean up that. So after you clean up with concealer, I took a fluffy brush, took this fluffy brush, and I used the color Beach, just 
in the crease just to give me a little oomph. And now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. And today for mascara, I'm going to be using my all-time drugstore favorite. And it's the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I absolutely love this mascara. And it helps that it's like gorgeously pink. So I'm going to apply that really quickly. So that is what it looks like with mascara on. I'm going to have to recurl my lashes, but I always have to recurl my lashes after they fully dry. And so now it's time to, it's been about 15, 20, 15, 15 to 20 minutes since I baked my face. And so now I'm actually going to set the rest of my face and brush away the bake. Wherever I was baking under the eyes making sure to set the whole face because I get super greasy if I don't set it but I also have to moisturize before because I also get super dry it's a great combination because <laughs> it's a combination but it's not quite combination so so now I'm going to move on to bronzer, um, and this is actually a contour that I use, but um, it's a little worn, so I use it as bronzer, and it's the Ulta Contour Kit, and I'm going to be using Golden Bronzer, and so what you, how I apply bronzer, the basics of it is applying it in a three shape, forehead, cheekbone, chin. I usually start with my chin. Because that is the place. So this is bronzer, but I use it a little bit like contour. Um, and I also use the contour brush from Wet n Wild. And so just bronzing up the face. And then look and see if you need more bronzer. I just like... A bronzy glow you can take it and pinch it and contour the nose area um, and I actually put a little too much on my forehead right there so I'm just gonna actually blend this out with my powder brush um, and then oh goodness going on to blush today I'm actually gonna be using the Tarte um, blush and glow the peachy glow it is a super peachy, cute blush. And as you can see, there's supposed to be a highlight in here. But it fell out and broke. Because these are removable. Um, <laughs> yeah, mine fell out and broke. Um, I have yet to fix it. It's just sitting over there in a little container waiting to be fixed. But we're just going to use the, the blush today. So how I like to apply brush is I like to smile. Just a little. Start there and then blend it back. Take your time blending, making sure you're not in a rush because you can put too much and then you got like a big old splotch of blush and you don't want that. You want a warm glow of like flesh, like, oh, you embarrassed me. You know, you, know, you want that, that blush. Um, and then one thing that I've been loving lately is, um, oh, hold on, taking the blush and just running it all across the face for, to give it that, like, sun-kissed look, because you know it is summertime. And then I'm going to move on to the piece de resistance, is that, am I saying that right? Piece de resistance of the makeup routine. This is my favorite. I love highlight. I love highlight so much. And this highlight in particular is my favorite drugstore highlight. I haven't tried many high-end highlighters because I like my drugstore highlighters. 
I think they're really good. This is my absolute favorite. It is from Rachel Love's Pixie Collection. It is a layering highlighting palette. And so you have all of your different colors. So you can start with the base and then you can build or you can just do the base. Whatever you want. My actual favorite is um, Zipper. It gives us like, it's not really purple, but it's just, oh, gorgeous. So, where to apply highlight is you're going to apply, you need to apply it to the high points of your face. So after you have washed your face and moisturized, go stand in the mirror and look in the sun and smile and see where the sun highlights your face. And so I'm actually going to start with Clutch today. Clutch is just oh, gorgeous too. And just blending on the tops of my cheekbones. So where I put highlighter is I put highlighter here all the way up to here. Not everybody does that, but I do. It's just what works for me. It works for my skin. And it just looks really good. Um, blend it on me. And so I'm going to do the other cheekbone, making sure again to blend it. And it comes with a large mirror, like the whole top is a mirror, which is really awesome for like travel or just for multiple things like that. And again, just blending and blending. And then I will take clutch and put it down the bridge of my nose and the center of my forehead under Kihuzo and this and one thing that I love to do is take my finger for that inner corner highlight let's see my nails are really long right now let me use a different finger it's just plop that right in the inner corner and just blend that a little bit just take that and go boop That's, that's the highlight noise, you know, boop, boop. And then today, because it's my favorite, and I told y'all it was my favorite, so we're going to use zipper and just go right over clutch. And then we're going to recurl the lashes because they are dry and they are falling down. They don't want to stay where they're told. Just recurling them just makes such a difference. And last but not least, we're going to be doing lips. That is not lips. Where are my lips? Ha, lips are right here. We're going to be doing this gloss. I don't know where I got it. It's just in my drawer. And we're just going to apply it to the lips. It's such a pretty gloss, but the only, and it looks great for like pictures and stuff. The only unfortunate thing is that you can't feel the glitter. That's not very nice, but whatever. So then you want to set your face, but I cannot find a single setting spray in this room. So I'm actually just going to use a little bit of my facial spray. And uh, just get rid of the powder, 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 powderiness. And make it look like skin not much just a smidge fanner and yeah so this is the makeup look for today and I'll zoom in so you guys can see yeah so this is what we are working with today if you like this video please leave a like and please subscribe to this channel i post videos every monday wednesday and friday and i'll see you all in my next video love y'all